So, today, I was wandering around, exploring on my lunch break, and I found a break in the fence where my bike is there now. And beyond it, there's a creek and railroad tracks. And I thought I'd cross them and see where they lead. I don't see a train coming, so I think I'm pretty safe. On the other side of the tracks, I hear frogs, and that's what brought me in this direction. of shade. It's very cool over here. So, here's the other side of the river. It runs underneath the railroad tracks. It's pretty darn picturesque, I must say. All this bark has been carved away or something. It's strange. I'm gonna follow the sound of the frogs. Over there, I see an old mattress. Perhaps this area is being used. By a vagrant or two. Or someone used it as a dumping ground, but... of them. It looks like someone tried to build a makeshift ladder into the tree. I remember doing something like that when I was a kid. I tried to, I was gonna build a tree house that lasted for, and that project lasted for a couple days. Okay, so there's a, just a whole dirt road over here. This, uh, I wonder where this leads. I don't want to scare the frogs too badly. I really like them. I like how they sound. I went close.
closer to see if I could try to catch a frog, but I'm big and clumsy and I can't get close. I've been hearing some insects that uh, kind of sound like a, there it is, the rattlesnakes rattle, and uh, made me realize that I've Actually, I, I should be on the lookout for rattlesnakes. It's very, very warm out here. This is... If they find somewhere to bask, it's actually perfect rattlesnake territory. They could also hide in the grass. So I'm hoping that they haven't I did encounter a rattlesnake somewhere recently on a hike up in the mountains. It was big. But it wasn't too close, so I wasn't scared. I'm a little more nervous here. But I'm doing pretty well so far. Oh, the frog stopped. I'm thinking I should get back to my bike. It's usually not too busy around here. a lot of time left of my lunch break, but I'm thinking sometime I might want to bring my bike across these tracks and see where this dirt road leads. I gotta say, I really, really love my bike for exploring. It, uh, it's just got the perfect amount of mobility. And it's so much faster than just walking. I can take it to all sorts of hidden locations and explore them. I've been doing that a bit recently, and it has been incredibly rewarding. This little spot isn't so bad either. The uh, signs of someone living here are slightly worrisome, but it might also be totally abandoned. I'm not really sure. Anyway, thank you for joining me. And I'll let you know if I some more cool things. Until next time.